You guys, it's Lexi here, and it is currently 10:17 in the morning, and I haven't been in bed yet. This is what happens when you have no school and nothing else to do. <laughs> um, okay, before I start the video, a little personal thing. If you're wondering, um, I bleached my hair. Um, if you've been watching my videos, um, you would know in the videos I have on um, We Are The Otakus, you'll know that my hair used to be black and I've been bleaching it. I'm trying to get it white, like this color. It has got my bangs, but um, it's still orange here, and I have cut it because it was even orangey down there. So my face looks a bit orangey, and it's really, really damaged. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it is super damaged. It, um, I, I haven't done anything to it for like about a week now. I haven't straightened it. I haven't blow dried it. I've just been letting it be awesome. Um, but I straightened it today, and just not even anything to be concerned about. You guys are gonna freak out, thinking, "Oh my god!" But a bit was coming out, tiny bit. It was just because it was um, breaking, because it's damaged. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get it white. That's why I don't. I used to have um, um, extensions too. I used to have 18 inches, but I can't wear them anymore because I'm waiting for my color, all my hair to go that color. So anyway, enough about me, because you guys probably couldn't care less. We're gonna do another Yaoi review. Um, today we're gonna be doing probably the most famous Yaoi. Known to every Yaoi fan girl on this earth, it is usually people's firsts, or slash end. It's their favorites, and that is, if you can guess, guess, and you're probably right. Jonjo the Mantika. Volume one. I only have five volumes of this, but I have seen anime about three times because I'm awesome. No, because, but, um, yeah, so, Junjo the Mantica, okay, before you get into it, I have two things to say, as usual, this may contain spoilers, um, so go watch it, come back, or watch this if you want spoilers, or just go to the end to see what rating I'm going to give it, um, and two, is it a Shonen Eye or a Yaoi, the question that everybody wants to know, or is it not even either, it is a Yaoi, my friend. Um, this was my first yaoi, um, cause my first actual boy love, um, anime was Loveless, but that's a shonen night, so I count this as my first Loveless. Um, as my first yaoi. I haven't been asleep, okay, my mind's gone. <coughs> this is my first yaoi, and Loveless is my first shonen night. My, my voice is going. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, okay, so, first, before we get into, um, reviewing it, is, if you, um, if you have already read the manga and watched the anime, um, you probably had to search for that, the anime by putting the name in, and it's spelled J-U-N-J-O-U, but the manga doesn't have the U at the end. I don't know why that is, it's just a little fact about it. Um, okay, so um, I did recently do a Seikai Ichihatsukoi, um, which is a brand new yaoi that's out. If you want to go watch it, go check on and Pepsi, and um, it was made by the same person who made John Jerome Matica, who is Shungiku Nakamura. Nakamura, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, if you did see that, why isn't my playlist isn't working? I apologize. Um, if you did see that, you remember me t saying that it follows um, the same theme of John Jerome Matica, and John Jerome Matica has this. Um, thing that I haven't really seen in any other yaois. Um, it has three different couples in it. Most yaois just have one couple, or maybe two. I, that's really, really rare, but this has three in it. And um, when I first was watching it, I was a yaoi new, but I didn't know nothing. And um, I don't pay attention to the names when I first watch it because it's like Japanese names and I get really confused about that. Well, I used to, I don't now. But, um, but I hate freaking YouTube. Thank you. It's really quiet. Um, yeah, so it ha they have three couples, and because I was a yaoi noob and an anime noob, I... The, it's like, I think in the episode is about episode three. Okay, before we get into that, before I explain the three pairings, let's just go to the first pairing. The first pairing is the main pairing, and it's usually everybody's favorite pairing. Everybody knows this pairing. Um, it is Usagi, which is Japanese for rabbit, just let you know. Um, and um, Misaki. Misaki and Misaki. Um, so yeah, they're the main couple. I'll go into that now, but 
there's a, the couple after that um, who I can't remember their names. I really apologize about this. There's two couples I just can't remember their names. I will explain what happens to them. But I just can't remember their names, and it would take me like an hour to find in the book. So unless you want to watch me skim through the book, um, but the other one, he doesn't look like it. But okay, I just didn't know. Okay, I was new, um, but I thought that it was like him. I thought he was cheating on him because the guy kind of looked like him to me. If that makes sense. He looked like Misaki to me, so I'm like, oh my god, Misaki's like there with that guy now. Or with um, Nawaki, that, that's the other pairing. Nawaki and some other guy, I can't remember his name. And, um, okay, so this pairing, right, what happens? Um, Misaki's brother is best friends with Usagi, who is a really famous um, book writer, author, whatever you want to call it. And, um,. He is starting university, but no, he, he, yeah, he's trying to get into university, but he's dumb. <laughs> Sorry, Misaki, but it's true. So he needs help from Usagi, because um, Usagi, he's going into um, literature, I think, I'm pretty sure. So he's going to help him, because he's a book writer. So he's going to go stay at his place, because um, um, he agreed to it because he's in love with Misaki's brother. Please don't be confused yet because it gets more confusing. It doesn't really. It's not even confusing yet. I just make it confusing because I'm cool like that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so yeah, he's in love with Misaki's brother, so he'll agree to anything Misaki's brother says. So he's like, yeah, sure, your kid brother can come. And then, um, basically on the first episode, um, Misaki gets raped. <laughs> that's, that's, it's not that bad. Um, he wakes up Usagi and... Usagi freaks out and kind of vapes him a tiny bit. Not much. Just a little kissing in that. Um, yeah. And then basically, he falls in love with Misaki, and Misaki fall eventually falls in love with him. Um, but like, throughout the thing, he's like, I don't love you. But like, they're like having sex and going on dates and that, so I think he kind of does love him. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just a love. He's like a love hate, and he's just full of love. He we thought he's so cool. And then um, the next, the few other couples, I'm just going to go through them really fast because it's not as important, is um, a university teacher and a uh, Nawaki who, that's, the university teacher is not Nawaki. Um, a university teacher is the other guy who is trying to become a doctor and he needs um, a tutor, so he's helping him. And then they fall in love. And the other one is a kid. He's not a kid, he's about 18 or something, but he's a kid compared to all these dudes. And uh, he falls in love with, um, this is really confusing, but the universe, it'd be less confusing if I knew the names. He falls, um, the guy, the university teacher's friend, um, that's the guy with the kid, and the kid falls in love with him, and then he's like, love me, and he's like, I'm not gonna love you, and then they fall in love, obviously. And those, those ones don't really matter, um, they're just little side ones. I guess they didn't matter if they were your favorites, but I count these because they're the main ones. Um, okay, really fast, there is two seasons to this. They're both 12 episodes, as usual. It is not in English, you have, you can get English subtitles, that is a huge fly. I hate bugs, I'm sorry, I'm just freaking... Somebody was distracting me. That is, I don't want to touch him. I'm scared. Um, <laughs> trying to do this without the fly touching me, me screaming. Um, but the fly, you made me lose my spot. This is a really bad review. Um, fly. But no, there's no but. Yeah, okay. It has two seasons. It's both twelve episodes. They're not in English. They're only in Japanese. You can either watch it in raw and. I think it's been freaking subtitled in almost every single language. I know Spanish, French, um, Portuguese, English obviously, because um, English is usually the main one. Probably other ones if you go look for it, those are just the ones that I've seen randomly. Um, of course, any most yaois I recommend watching on Aaron Fantasy. If you don't want to subscribe to that or um, become a member. You can get on YouTube. It is so popular you can really get it anywhere. Just search it on Google and you'll find it. But you can get it on YouTube too. Um, so the manga has 13 um, volumes. I only have five. Um, yeah, so I suck. But the manga, so far from what I've read, it hasn't really gone off the anime. Because usually the manga is different. Because it's the original, it hasn't really changed much. 
No. Um, okay, so I really love um, Nakamura's um, drawing style. It is really unique. Um, the semis really have like a boxy face of, and of course this slanty eyes, and then the Ukes have like a more round face and then like the big eyes. So that's just, like, you can just tell, but see, she, she does it so detailed. Let's see, I'll do, I'll try to find a little yaoi page for you. Oh, there you go, cute yaoi page. See, she does it really interestingly, like I've never really seen a drawing style like this. Like, she's one of those artists that you can see something and you say, ah, oh, that's, she drew it. I know. Um, okay, so ratings. I, I just can't see anything wrong with this anime, um, or manga. Um, the only thing wrong with it is that it needs another season. It's amazing. Um, I watched it, like, a year after it came out or something, so I was stuck with only one season, I was just waiting for the second season and it finally came out, but I don't think they're making another season because I'm pretty sure they finished it. But, yeah, I, I, I just can't see anything wrong with this Yaoi. It is an excellent first time one if you want to get into Yaoi. Um, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it, it's just too perfect. There has to be something wrong with it. I'm trying to think if there's something wrong with it, but there isn't. It has everything that you would want in a Yaoi. Okay, so that is it for today. I will probably be doing another review very fast, and I'll, I have like other ones, but I haven't uploaded them yet, so I'm probably going to upload them all in one big bulk. Okay, so till next time, I hope you enjoyed that review. Bye!